in your own case study, two case study we have presented in this slide. Case study one, the patient is suffering from allergy rhinitis, not one asthma. The allergy rhinitis and asthma both may have, might have a common allergy, but the disease is too separate, distinct, too separate entity. You cannot confuse asthma with the rhinitis. I guess I agree. The neglected sneeze of two days will lead to who's to it's all right. But the asthma and allergen rhinitis are the two separate diseases, two separate entities. Although the same allergen can provoke these two diseases at the same time. And second case study is that the patient is suffering from asthma. He would, he would say the treatment is immunotherapy. Is some some will accept the treatment of asthma is immunotherapy alone? No. It may be an extra treatment option for the asthma, but then you have the guidelines. You have the national guidelines, guideline, you have the GINA guidelines for the treatment of asthma. Not the only treatment of asthma is the immunotherapy. It is really will not be acceptable by anybody. I don't know what happened to somebody that thinks about the immunotherapy. Is uh, if we don't know the mechanism of action of some drug, how can we accept it? As a physician, I can accept. I can advise this drug to any other person. Since I don't know the mechanism of action, but what mechanism of action you have presented in the slide is simply a hypothesis. It is not established till today. <laughs> You mentioned this asthma or any disease is curable. Yes, I agree. Asthma is not curable. But it is 100% controllable disease. If you treat asthma by conventional medication, by inhaler steroid and other short acting salbutamol, long acting salbutamol, beta 2 agonist, and some other medication, I'm sure if the patient is suffering from asthma, the heel or her asthma will must be controlled and 100% controlled. And if the control of asthma of that patient could be maintained, a time will come, there will be no more recurrence, no more relapse. And this situation is called remission. Now what is remission? If any asthma patient remains asymptomatic without medication at least for 12 months, it may be 12 years, it may be 12 into 24 years, it may be 12 into 3, 13, 6 years, it may be like one. If it is so, then why we should not give importance to our conventional medication, conventional treatment? The patient might get benefit with our conventional treatment. What, what is written in our national guideline? What is given in the GINA guideline? So why should we run after immunotherapy? which has got the tremendous side effect, which has got the life-threatening side effect, like anaphylaxis. The life of the patient may end in there. You mentioned the sheet can modify the disease of the, uh, modify the disease, I mean, can cure the disease. The, I have already mentioned the trials so far contacted on immunotherapy are all short term trials. Not, not, uh, no more trials are conducted in the long term. The out, outcome or the, uh, I mean the uh, prognosis of the uh, immunotherapy uh, on asthma with immunotherapy would be evaluated properly. A patient suffering from asthma have got the FEP1. Less than 70% he is not a suitable candidate for immunotherapy. What a funny. His FEPM should be less than 70%. Otherwise, he or she will not get the immunotherapy. So, this could be acceptable by anyone? No. Simply not. When immunotherapy is started in the Europe, in the UK, they did not give any permission to immunotherapy. The British are the very clever nation worldwide. Everybody knows. When British does not accept any any therapy for their people, so think that is something. Dal me kuch kala. They are the clever nation worldwide. You want to cure or you want to modify the disease. 
when we want someone. But how? <coughs> there is no specific data. There, there is some percentage of the asthma patient treated by the that we have been given. And the cost, now you know, the $1,600 US dollar for per year of it is not like that throughout the whole period. It is a per year of So we cannot accept this. We cannot accept this for our policy. Because as you know, uh, more than 70 lakhs, I mean, there could be one group. Asthma patients are suffering, and uh, patients are suffering from asthma in our country. So they even cannot buy a salpotamol inhaler. Inhaler body destroyed. They cannot buy. So they, if they, if they could buy, they cannot properly use it. There's a lot of problem in the technique. So the uh, medicine is not working properly. So we should give attention to that place, not for immunotherapy. Immunotherapy is not fit for our people. Okay? So I am dead against immunotherapy in Thank you so much.